Representative from the Sheriff's Office, just for a second. Assistant Sheriff. Is there anything that kind of is distinguishing here in Alameda County that differentiates why we're continuing to take the actions that we take around ICE when um, Los Angeles, San Francisco, San Joaquin, Humboldt, Contra Costa, and them have taken a different action? Is there something that steps, st st sticks out when the other counties have already eliminated the Sir, I'm not aware of anything that does. I know that the, you know, the sheriff's not here today, but I know the sheriff's position is is he, you know, intends to cooperate in those very limited situations, and um, you know, that's his position on it. Okay, thank you. So, Assistant Sheriff, you know, on that point, the slides that were presented. Yes. Uh, Vice President Carson was referring to the slide that says. The Board of Supervisors in Los Angeles prohibited the use of county resources to transfer people to ICE, Marin, stop letting ICE into the jail for any transfers. Um, are you familiar with those? No, I mean, I haven't seen this presentation until okay. just today, so I'm so, not, so I'm not uh, familiar. Maybe a county council, can you check? There's a presentation by uh, Lena, is it Graber or Graber? from the um, Senior Immigration, Immigrant Legal Resource Center, and her slide is number 12. Can you check those factoids and then get back to us, please? Um, sure, what, what we will do is we'll confer with our counterparts in other counties, and we okay. can obtain a copy of any, legis uh, any actions that they took um, and the basis for it. So we will follow up on that. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Supervisor Chan and then Supervisor Miley. Um, I guess this is a question for County Council as well. We've had two lengthy discussions about the Sheriff's cooperation with ICE, once in 2013 and once in 2016. One was around the um, secure communities, and the other was just a resolution asking the Sheriff not to cooperate with ICE. Um, do you see any change in the law, either with AB 1185 or through budget actions that, that we could do um, since um, the Sheriff is very clear what his position is. And the board has also taken a position, I think on a four to one vote, which is quite the opposite. So we're kind of at this uh, uh, draw. So if um, memory serves me from what you just stated in terms of the years, um, from the first period that you mentioned, the, the laws have certainly changed. Um, so there was additional legislation. I believe the Truth Act wasn't in, in existence at that time. So there's, there certainly have been changes in law since that time. Um, and the, those changes did impose um, some stricter requirements on sheriffs that sheriffs are now complying with, some of which includes our sheriff. With respect to the later um, times that we've looked at it, um, I know I've looked at so certain issues, and I'm not aware that there have been changes to those, but in the follow-up, that um, Supervisor Valle just requested, um, we will look at that exact issue and see whether or not there is something that you're, that something um, that is different now that would um, give your board authority. I, I think I've mentioned to you before that there is, um, there is case law um, that exists that talks about the ability of your board to use your budgetary authority um, to impact law enforcement decisions. Um, but we will look and see if there's been any, any um, new uh, law on that issue. In particular, the suggestion that um, we pass a resolution or, or state during budget hearings that no money should be spent on cooperation with ICE, that's within the realm of our, our um, jurisdiction or our ability. So that is what I'm saying, is that I will look at following up and see where the current state of the law is in okay. that regard. And then I didn't know, um, I think probably Supervisor Miley will speak on this because he, he sent a note, but this new law, AB um, 1185, which calls for a, um, uh, a possible um, in, uh, inspector general or oversight, is, is the Public Protection Committee going to discuss that? Uh, yes, uh, we've been asked to do that by Supervisor Miley at our next, uh, well, one of our upcoming meetings. We'll take that up. 
Uh, Supervisor Miley? <clears throat> yes, on that matter, I was going to say I've uh, sent a letter to the uh, president of the Board of Supervisors copying each supervisor, county administrator, county council sheriff, and other public protection partners uh, asking the Public Protection Committee to take up Assembly Bill 1185 uh, to look at establishing an oversight uh, um, committee for uh, the Sheriff's Department based on the fact that this law is now um, with us. And so uh, that request was sent to the President recently. It will actually um, be mentioned on Thursday at the Public Protection Committee meeting because there'll be a, a report given by the uh, ad hoc committee or the ad hoc, uh, yeah, the ad hoc committee on racial justice and police reform, and it's going to come up in that uh, context context as well. So I'm hoping the public protection committee takes up this um, matter of 1185 for uh, oversight committee. I'd also like to um, ask if the, if uh, this matter of um, the Truth Act and detentions and turning over to um, ICE, if we could get from when county council comes back, if it's county council, if we can get a sense of what all counties are doing in the, in the state, all 58 counties, so we can see what, what actions various counties are taking or lack thereof and to determine based on those actions uh, what the menu of possibilities are for us uh, to uh, impose on the Sheriff's Department. I think that would be helpful as well. Okay. When it comes I, to... May I clarify? No. I'm sorry. Did you say that you're requesting that we survey all 58 counties regarding... Yeah, I'd like to know, to, to, to make good public policy, I'd like to know uh, what all the counties are doing. Some counties might not be doing anything, Others might be doing more, but I'd like to know what they're doing. No, the question. My question is: When you say what they're doing, what they're doing regarding oversight bodies, what no, they're no, doing no, no. regarding this is not, no, no, no. There are two separate things I was saying. The first thing I was saying is I've sent a letter to the president of the board of supervisors to look to ask the public protection committee to look into 1185. That is one thing. The second thing I was saying is in reference to uh, the Truth Act and ICE detentions and turning over um, detainees to ICE, if we could get a sense of what the 58 counties, the other 57 counties are doing relative to that, so we have a menu of options about what we can impose on the Sheriff's Department relative to uh, uh, cooperation with ICE. We will make our best efforts to get that information. Okay, I think that's going to take you a little bit of time. All right, we will now move to public comment. Two minutes per speaker on any item not on today's agenda. Again, I want to clarify on an item not on today's agenda. We have one speaker. Okay. okay. Now it's two. Caller, please.